I used to really like Fenty, um, and then I made this video. Hello everybody, welcome back. Today is an exciting day. Um, as you guys probably know by now, because I had the idea for this uh, last month and didn't do it, so today we're going to do it. But as you guys probably know by now, um, Ulta is selling Fenty Beauty. I am like so pumped about this. I love Fenty, and you guys may or may not know this, I don't personally shop at Sephora, so in order for me to get Fenty, I either have to get it through BoxyCharm or through the Fenty branded website, which shipping rates, I'm not a fan. Um, but now Ulta is selling them. So, hella freaking Luya. I have, I, okay, to celebrate Ulta selling Fenty products, I um, went and bought a whole bunch. But then I also have a bunch that, like, I already had various pieces of collection, right? Um, but then I also bought a bunch of stuff that I haven't tried yet, like the Snap Shadows and some face products and things like that. So, we're going to do a full face a Fenty Beauty today. I, you guys, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time and I love Fenty and I love doing full faces of certain brands so this should be fun. I am super excited about this. All of the products will be linked down below coming straight from Ulta. That's where the links will take you. I do make a small commission if you use those links so don't feel pressured to. You can just go to Ulta and search for Fenty and everything should be there but if you do use those links it doesn't cost you any extra. It just helps support me and my channel and I do appreciate that. Thank you. And let's jump in because I have been waiting. I'm going to start with brows because I always start with brows. Oh, I didn't do my my eye patches. Should I do my eye patches? Oh, I'm going to do my eye patches because if not, I'm going to hate myself. Hang on. Hang on. I'm using these Grace and Stella ones that came in some subscription box. Uh, so if you are new here, I do like eye gels or eye patches under my eyes while I do my eye makeup because it really helps lock in moisture to my under eyes. That's what we're going here for today. That's what we're going for here today. That's what I go for every day. All right, brow product. This is the Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler. I think that I have this, if we're being honest. It comes with this type of like spoolie. Not a big fan of the spoolie. And I need to like fix my hair because I'm not keeping it like this, but it's okay. It's all right. I need some type of mirror. <gasps> These are so tiny. I've never actually paid much attention to the little snap shadows. Those are so small. This is in the shade Soft Black, and I actually feel like it's a really good match for my brows. I feel like normally I have a bit of a harder time shade matching. This one's nice. That matches really well. And I like this pencil. And also, if you are, if you are curious about these eye patches, um, I'm not personally a fan because they just slide around. But I only have a few left. And I'd be using eye patches anyways, so I figure I might as well go ahead and use these. I really like this. Like, this is just a good, for everyday, kind of softer brows. This is perfect. I love that. So because I don't have a primer, I'm going to go in, an eye primer, I'm going to go in with the AOA uh, Perfect Eye Primer. This was gifted to me. I'm just going to slap this on. And I will, I think I am going to either toss some of this stuff into like a speed reviews or do like a what I thought kind of an update video so if you guys are curious about how I end up liking the newer products I will I do plan on doing updates so I have two of the snap shadow palettes I think if I have any other Fenty eyeshadows and I don't think I do I think I may have like used to but I don't think I do now so I have five which is peach that's really pretty. And then I have one, which is what I was using for a mirror, and this is True Neutrals. Mm. I think I'm gonna go with the True Neutrals today. We'll keep it, we'll do like a soft glam type thing. And I think, oh, why are you, why are you doing this? I think I'm gonna go with True Neutrals, because that looks so pretty. Also, I'm using BH brushes today. I have two different sets that I'm kind of hoping I can make work. The shimmers in this are gorgeous. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm gonna put that in my crease. We are going to Disneyland in a couple of weeks for Monroe's birthday um, because she wanted to go, she wanted to go to Great Wolf Lodge again because that's where we went, I think last year for Gibson's birthday, but we don't want to go back again because per there's personal reasons. We just don't wanna go back again. Uh, not right now anyways and we finally decided to kind of set our shit aside 
and go anyways because Monroe wanted to go and it's her birthday. And then we were looking at pricing and Great Wolf Lodge has like raised their pricing a lot. I don't know if I like this brush. Um, Kyler put in, like he kind of figured out how much it would cost for us to take a trip to Great Wolf Lodge. And then he put in Disneyland and it was like 500 bucks more to go to Disneyland. Um, so we figured that was kind of a better vacation anyways. So we are going there and we're going at the end of this month, like well, kind of mid month, uh, but pretty excited about it because we haven't been since before COVID. I don't like these brushes. This is terrible. This is too, I think I feel like I, I like like a firmer brush. Oh, the shades have names. This was Cumin Get It. And then the Nookie Rookie is that white shade. And I'm gonna use that to kind of buzz this out a little bit. I was not expecting this, these eye brushes. But I'm pretty excited about Disney, obviously. Like, I like Disney, and I've seen, I've been watching a lot of vlogs, um, specifically Jessica Braun and her husband's vlogs. I love their vlogs, like their Disney vlogs. And they are just posting about the ones where they, when they went on, on a Disney cruise. And we're thinking about doing that in a couple of years. I'm going to go into the shade Affogato, which is this really dark shade. And I'm going to use that in my outer corner. Okay, so I don't have much of a history with BH brushes and everybody always raves about them, right? Like they're so commonly used. And so when they showed up at TJ Maxx, I bought like a ton of them. I bought a bunch of brush sets and I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I'm a fan or not. Oh, and my eyes are watering. I have had the worst allergies the last few days. Oh, my point in bringing up Disney, by the way, was I need to, we're only going to be gone for a few days, but I'm going to have to pre-film the videos that are going to go up while we're gone, and I need to, like, figure out what those videos are, because I have them written down, but I cannot tell you off the top of my head. Oh, I don't know if it's the shadows or the brushes. Should not have tried new brushes. I don't like this. All right, hang on. I got to fix this. Oh, I'm wondering if this is a brush problem or an eyeshadow problem. I feel like I know that Fenty did that Moroccan eyeshadow palette and it wasn't super great. I really like Fenty products but that was just not the best. I'm wondering if they are just not, if they if we're just lacking the eyeshadow formulas for this brand. I'm gonna look it up too because I need to know because I feel like I'm being gaslit here. So much of Fenty is so good, but it's a lot of like their face products. Like they do fabulous face products and lips. Mmm. I really don't like that. I feel like I need like a nice light shimmer. I think I'm going to go with Velvet Cuffs, which is this shade right here. And then probably a little bit of Simmer Down in the inner corner. Um, but I'm going to wet it a little bit. Okay. That's quite nice. I was debating between this or the gold shade. I feel like the gold shade pops a little bit more. What? Yeah, I like the gold shade better. <laughs> I feel like it is really pretty. That one has a weird texture to it though, that gold one that the other shimmer does not have. I feel like it is very, very pretty, but I don't know y'all. Have you guys tried these palettes? What do you think? I don't love this. So now, and now I'm doing it with a, what I would call a standard eyeshadow brush, because it's not like overly fluffy, like this is about the type of one that I use. And even with that, it goes, it just goes on weird. I don't love this. I'm going to come back to it in a little while to do like an inner corner and under my eyes, but thus far, not really a fan. All right, I do have the Flywear Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. I am going to try this out, and then I'm going to clean up under my eyes before we move on to face. And actually, I wonder. I feel like the true neutral palette would be, I'm still on this. I should have used the damn peach one. The mattes just feel dry to me. Like the peach one isn't as bad, but like I feel like even in the swatch, that just doesn't swatch right. The peach one swatches really well. So I don't really know how I feel about these yet. I feel like the peach one, it just feels and swatches like it would be a little bit better. Um, this one, the number one, which is true neutrals, I don't know. I'm not super into. All right, let me do eyeliner. 
We'll come, we'll, we'll, we'll circle back around. All right, for face primer, I have the Pro Filter Hydrating Primer in soft pink. Look at how freaking cute that is. I don't, I don't know if I've ever tried a Fenty primer. Does it come out? Is it like actually pink? Ooh, it's like a pink gel almost. Is that a gel consistency? That feels so nice on the skin. I feel like for eyes, I, I like a lot of Fenty's face products and I feel like for eyes, I'd probably, going forward in the future, stick with like eyebrow products. I don't like this eyeshadow palette. And like I said, I feel like the peach one is going to be better based on the feeling of the swatches and I should have swatched more shades before I put it on, but you live and you learn. Now for foundation, I have three different options. From my own personal stash, I have the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Um, and then I also have the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. These are both in the same shade. I don't know how that looks on camera, but this one is like vastly more yellow. So, and I don't think I've tried this one yet. So we've got those, but then I also picked up the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the shade 2. And I don't know a whole lot about it, but skin tints are like very popular right now and so I was curious about it plus the packaging like really drew me in how stinking cute is that I think I'm gonna try this out I obviously I do prefer like a fuller coverage and with this eye look the face needs everything it can get um, but I think I'm gonna try I'm honestly debating taking my eyes off and starting over what time is it I think I'm gonna try this out and then if I just genuinely don't like it I don't know what I'm gonna do all right, I'm trying to figure out, I don't know what the best way to apply this would be. I think I'm gonna start with a brush. I'm gonna do one side with a brush, and then we'll go to the other side with a beauty blender. I'm not normally a fan of skin tints because I do like a fuller coverage, and I feel like with skin tints, you really can't like build them up at all. I actually like the way that that looks. It's very light, it's very light coverage. But I do feel like it gives a nice like layer of tint to my face but you can still see it's not like a whole lot of coverage but it is just a nice layer of like of, it looks like skin and it just evens things out a little bit let me do beauty blender I have an AOA sponge so it's not a beauty blender but going over this side with a sponge now too just to make sure it's like all even this is so odd to me because I'll be honest with you I did not expect to like the skin tint it's not what I, I'm usually into I kind of really like it like, I feel like if I was just doing, if I just wanted something, okay, so, I, okay, for me, as a full coverage queen, I feel like if I just wanted, if I was in a hurry, I absolutely had to go, but I wanted something so it wasn't just my bare face, like, this is what I would use. And it still lets, like, your regular skin come through. I can still see freckles, I can still see, like, acne marks, but it just kind of evens it out it brings it down what is this what are the claims of this because this is beautiful light to medium coverage for all skin tones it blends and blurs to instant perfection light as air it is very light I will say that's true and that's what it's doing it's kind of like blurring everything a little bit I'm wondering because it says light to medium so I'm wondering if you can build it up so I am going to I'm gonna do another layer I'm gonna apply with a brush and then I'm gonna go back in with the blender. I, I like that so much more than I thought that I was going to. Like that is so, I feel like with the second layer, it may have added the smallest amount of extra coverage, but it really wasn't like a whole lot. This was interesting to me. Again, I could have sworn I used to have one of their concealers, but apparently I don't. But I saw this on the Fenty website a while ago. I was super intrigued by it. And then I ended up picking it up this round. This is the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. So it's not a concealer. It's like an illuminator. I got mine in the shade, in the shade Seashell. Instantly hydrates, brightens and blurs, light as air, sheer to buildable coverage that lasts. So I guess I'm kind of using this as a concealer today. This is the most unique applicator I think I've ever seen. I'm going to start by my eyes. I feel like I put on way too much, but that's fine. I'm going to start by my eyes. And then we're going to see how well it goes. It's such a unique applicator, but it comes out quite quickly. So bear that in mind. It does give you like a little bit of bright. I am going to just kind of put this a little bit where I usually put concealer to kind of brighten things up. That's like, it's such a, a sheer 
brightness and the rest of it is more like correcting if that makes sense again it doesn't add a whole lot of coverage but it looks nice oh my god I really like that. I don't know what I was expecting this to be, but it wasn't that, and I like that. Fenty's come out with a lot of cream products lately, actually, and I've been into it because y'all know how much I love me some cream products. This is the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer, which I have not tried. I've heard very mixed things about. I picked it up in the shade Butta Biscuit, which is 02. Quite nervous. I'm gonna use this brush. It looks so... It looks so pretty. Oh, okay. It's quite light, which I prefer because I feel like that you can kind of like build it up or sheer it out. Oh, I will say that was, it was not the brightest idea to test out new brush sets while testing out new makeup because I hate these brushes. All right, let's blend this. And this is nice because I feel like I could kind of build this up if I was doing more of like a full coverage look. But it just, like, regular blends out so nicely, but it's not, like, overpowering at all. It's such a light contour that it goes really well with the skin tint. I am questioning now, though, if you'd be able to build it up enough to do, like, a full coverage thing. So I'll have to play around with that and get back to you guys. But it looks great on the skin tint, which is awesome. I also have the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. This is so tiny comparatively like it makes sense but I like the fact that they kind of did that this is in the shade cool berry that's so deep all right let's do it I don't know why I ended up picking this shade um but I kind of like it that's nice and that blends into a really pretty shade it's not as deep as it was before you blend it and I feel like I use like a decent amount but it's pretty. I also have this, which this is totally new to me because I know that they've got like the match sticks, but this is the Liquid Kilowatt Fluid Freestyle Highlighter. I was planning to do powder over this and I think I might like set it with powder, but I don't know if I'm gonna do like a full like contour bronzer thing. What? With a blush with all the powder stuff that I normally do because I'm kind of liking just this. Okay, the shade of this is beautiful. This is in the shade Vintage Velour. Um, I love this. I had no idea that this was a thing. And for whatever reason, I was viewing it, like in my head, I was picturing it as like one of the Matchsticks products. So pulling out a tube, why I don't remember that from buying it online, the world will never know. Maybe I should have embraced the original low pigmentation of the eyeshadows. And maybe I should not have tried to build them up. Maybe I should have just gone for a soft everything. Because I feel like now the eyeshadows like overpower everything and it's not very good. This is a beautiful liquid highlight. Like this provides a nice glow. Mm. I'm loving these cream face products. All right, I just want to just kind of set the under eyes a little bit with the Fenty Butter Powder. And a little bit in my T-zone. Because like I said, I don't know if I'm going to go through and do a kind of thing that I usually do where I use like a bunch of powder products on top of it that I might just keep it like this. But I at least want to make sure it's set and it can't go anywhere because I'm in Arizona and we sweat a lot. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. This is much like thicker packaging. It's interesting. All right, we got a little sponge here. I'm never going to use that. I don't understand. Didn't we stop doing this? Didn't we finally quit doing that? It's so thick because of that. Put a little to set. This is in the shade 120. Um, so I'm hoping that that, this works for me. Because this does. That might be, well, to my knowledge it does. It worked last time I used it. The tube just looks like an entirely different shade. So I need to try that out pretty soon. I kind of like this. Like this is so light. I'm not used to doing looks like this. So it's like partially jarring. Partially I'm like, yeah. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take off this eye makeup. Yeah. And I'm going to do like a couple shades from the peach palette. We're going to try out the peach palette. We're going to see what we think. And I feel like that'll the lighter shades will go a little bit better with the face anyways. That's what we're going to do. All right. I just have to figure out how to get it off my eyes without messing up the face. I managed to get it off except for like a little bit of the liner because I was starting to take off face. So... It's a train wreck, but that's okay, because that's what we do here. I'm going to use the 5 palette this time, which is the peach, and I am going to do a completely different look. We're going to go lighter. We're going to do like a one or two shade sweep of color. 
keep it nice and simple. I'm gonna go into the shade, which is Butter Rum, and I'm gonna put that in the crease, but also on the lid. Already that's like a little bit more pigmented. Less build up than the other one needed. So it's not the brushes. The brushes aren't great. I'm not personally a big fan of the brushes, but the issue here is not the brushes. That was so easy. I still don't love, I, well, I don't know. Let me, let me keep going. I don't think I'm gonna love this palette very much, but I like this a lot better than the True Neutrals one. And this is so much, so much easier. Like look at how, it's a light shade, but it just goes on and it blends. Let me get the excess off. It's so funny, because when I think of Fenty, I think of like high coverage, full glam. I don't know how we've ended up here. I'm not mad at it though, okay? Now I'm going to take this shade, which is Bellini Baby. Yeah, and I'm going to put that all over my lid. And again, it just, it's better than the True Neutrals, but, oh, that is beautiful. Is that a duochrome? Um, it's better than the other one, but it still feels so dry. Like, it just feels crumbly. And like I said, I mean, so the issue was the eyeshadow palette the first time. I do like this one a lot more than I liked the True Neutrals one. But it's not hard to do, and I don't love this one. Let me fix the eyeliner. And then I'm also going to do pencil liner. It's the uh, Fly Liner, Fly Pencil Longwear Pencil Eyeliner in Because I'm Black. I have been using that one for a while. I'm going to do that on my waterline. It's not going to stay on my left eye because my left eye waters a lot when I have allergies and I can already see it. Uh huh. I already see it watering. But I'm also going to go back into palette number five. I think I'm going to take this shade, which is High Pumpkin, and I'm going to do this kind of under my lower lash line. I think I'm also going to go into Churro, which is the middle kind of orangier shade and like layer that on top because I feel like that might go a little bit, a little bit better. It is better. It's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Like I would wear this for the day and I don't think I'm going to end up putting on more powder products because this is fine. Like this is nice. I have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer in Fenty Glow. I am not a gloss person, y'all know this. These glosses are the best I have ever tried. They're so comfortable, I swear you guys. I hate glosses and I have purchased multiples of these. My favorite shade is Fussy. This one's really nice too. And I'm actually kind of glad, like I picked this out on a whim, like I just grabbed one. And I'm kind of glad I did that because I feel like this goes well because it's like nice and understated. I feel like one of the most interesting types of videos that I watch on YouTube are full faces of one brand. And I feel like that because normally brands are not good at everything. Charlotte Tilbury might be like the exception because I've done two full faces of her and I feel like I like most of her products. But even then, there are the couple, see, and that's the thing, there's always a couple of outliers. A brand cannot do everything great. There's always going to be high high points and low points. And I feel like Fenty's high points are face makeup. The low points are eye makeup. And I love the face on this. I don't... I'm going to have to give you guys an update on the eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to have to. Okay? Because I don't know... I'm gonna have to use them more because I don't think that I like them. How do these snap together anyways? If you like these, that's awesome. Like I'm super stoked for you, but I personally, I will not be buying any more of these and I don't even know if I'm gonna be keeping like these. Uh, I, th I think that my favorites from this video, if you're looking for suggestions now that Fenty is at Ulta, I'm gonna put on my glasses so I can see. I really do like this look though. Like, it's so much different, I feel like, than what I normally do. I need to fix my hair, but that's okay. But I feel like it's so much different than what I normally do. I really, really enjoyed the skin tint. And that really did surprise me. The ease drop blurring skin tint. I was not expecting that at all. I honestly, I brought over two extra foundations because I was like, there's no way this is going to work. I really liked that. I really liked the cream blush and the cream highlight. The cream bronzer, I think, is nice. But I still have some concerns about the cream bronzer. Um... Yeah, 
I mean, I think overall, I think overall Fenty stuff is good, but there are definite hits and misses. Definitely. So let me know down below in the comment what is your, like your favorite and your least favorite product that you've tried from Fenty. What is the absolute must have and what you like I'm never going to touch this again. This is terrible. Um, I'm really interested to know that. I will be testing these products out. What is going on with this? I'll be testing these products out. Um, I'm going to take, can I just take this, take my hair down? Would that be okay? I am going to be testing these products out. Um, off and on for the next couple of weeks and then I will give you an update somehow some way via here or Instagram if you've got like a specific request let me know down below but somehow some way we will have an update for this stuff this is like a stressful I'm stressed out I'm stressed this is did not go at all how I thought it was gonna go I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it here I'm gonna leave it here I hope this was somewhat helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that bigger subscribe button below me if you'd like to see more of me. I'll catch you all next time. Have a great one. Goodbye.